Hey everyone, welcome to dot point P5 and 6 and today we're looking at plant hormones. So for this dot point, you need to really know all of these dot points, um, all of these, sorry, hormones. So oxins, gibberellins, cytokinins, ethylene and abscisic acid. You need to know um, about each one of them individually, um, where they're produced and what they do with the plant and then how we can use them commercially. And then um, the second dot point is about um, how we use them to manage plant production. Um, commercially. So um, what you really should do is watch these uh, four videos here and they're um, going to explain how each of the hormones works much better uh, than I will in this video. So it's really important that you watch uh, these four videos um, to understand how each of them works. But to summarize, um, this table here kind of gives you um, a summary of where they're, where they're produced, uh, the effect in plants and then how we actually use them commercially. And so um, I'll go through them here as well. Um, this is just re-writing um, out what we just saw in that table. So hormones are chemical compounds that are formed in an organism and they affect the functions of the receptive organs. So hormones are used to um, control different things about plants in different areas of the plants. Um, because they don't have a nervous system, they use hormones to actually control their growth and development. So it says here, hormones in plants are produced in different areas, um, cause different effects ranging from cell elongation, inducing seed germination to ripening of fruit. Producers have developed ways of manipulating natural hormones in plants to apply them artificially and control aspects of plant production. So we can actually use these hormones, um, plant, which plants respond in certain ways to each hormone. We can use them to um, control the plant in different ways. So auxins are <clears throat> produced in leaves, seeds, buds, root tips, and developing flowers and fruit. And they end up causing the effects of cell elongation. So individual cells within the plant getting longer and thicker, uh, thickening of the stems and the roots, and also help with fruit development. So the way we can use these is um, you can spray them to, to, to help with seedless fruit, produ fruit production. Um, for example, cucumbers. You can help prevent fruit fall. For example, apples, it's, as it thickens the stems, um, and stops um, abscission. You can promote root growth in stem cuttings because it um, causes the um, cells to elongate and replicate. And then lastly, um, an example could be used as a weed killer because if you apply it in really high concentrations, um, the plant kind of um, grows at a, a really quick rate and it's out of control and so it effectively kills the plant. Gibberellins um, are produced in germinating seeds and young stems. And they also lead to stem elongation, flowering, and breaking seed dormancy. So with these hormones, there is a bit of overlap that some do similar things like stem elongation, but um, the gibberellins also lead to flowering and breaking of seed dormancy. And so the ways we can use this, um, you can have bigger, it can allow, allow bigger, um, more uniform bunches of grapes, seedless grapes, so that you have um, the more consistent in size. Uh, you can produce more yield in sugarcane because it's um, elongating the stems. Um, it promotes um, more yield because the stems are longer, but there is still the same concentration of sugar. So you get more yield by spraying gibberellins on. Also, you get improved fruit set in apples and pears, which just means the higher amount of fruit um, because it affects flowering. Moving on to ethylene. <coughs> Ethylene is a hormone that is um, commonly used in um, commercial reproduction or in commercial fruit production, and um, it's produced in growing tissue, aging leaves, and ripening fruit. And really, the main thing that it does is it promotes fruit ripening, so it can speed up the ripening of fruit and um, allow the fruit to be um, ripened when it is needed. Um, so, for example, bananas can be um, transported green on trucks when they're harder and they're less likely to bruise and then um, they can be treated with ethylene in a big kind of um, kind of gas chamber um, when they need to be ripened and so it takes a couple of days to then ripen it, as you can see here in this picture um, so it also helps with um, ripening fruit quickly ri ripening making the ripening uniform so um, you have the same um, color all over For example tomatoes um, pineapple ripening and also it helps accelerate fruit breaking off um, from plants um, such as grapes, cherries, citrus for automated harvesting. Cytokinins um, are produced in growing roots and developing seeds 
and they cause cell division and root growth. Um, and so they're good for um, promoting shoot production in tissue culture when you're trying to grow um, cuttings or new tissues and when you've made a tissue cutting um, and you're trying to grow it in tissue culture. Um, that will help shoot production in the, the plant to actually reproduce. Um, it also slows aging in plants by preventing protein breakdown. So what you can do is you can apply it as um, a post-harvest dip or spray, uh, which means once you've harvested it, obviously, and it helps prolong ha the storage life or the shelf life of asparagus and broccoli because it stops or slows down the proteins uh, from breaking down in the fruit. The last one, uh, abscisic acid. It's a hormone produced in roots and terminal buds. So these are like the end buds um, to cause the effect of reduced cell division, closing of the leaf stomata when low in water, and it readies the plant for winter basically. So um, the way that we can use this is we can potentially induce drought stress tolerance and um, cause plants to become more tolerant of drought. If we have a look at the multiple choice questions here, um, from 2015, what plant hormone, it, hormone is used for fruit ripening? Um, ethylene is the one that we said there, is the correct answer. 2015-24, um, ethylene is, induces ripening and gibberellin's um, stem elongation in sugarcane is an example there. 2012, um, what do auxins do and promote root growth cuttings uh, is an example there. And 2011, um, what type of plant hormone increases the ripening rate of fruits? Again, it is ethylene.